Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YP Plays Music. So, the last couple of weeks we did all the sharp versions of the basic major chords. And today we are going to start off with the flat versions of all the basic major chords. Um, so, what does the flat part mean in this chord? That basically means that it's half a tone lower than the original tone. For example, for today we are going to do the A flat chord. If we take the A chord, to get the A flat chord, we go half a tone lower. The A sharp is half a tone higher. So I hope that makes it clear. Now, for the sharp versions, we could sometimes just move one fret up the arm or down the arm to get the A sharp version. Now, with the A flat versions, it's not that simple because if we take, for example, the most common way to play the A chord, which is right here. And you can check that tutorial somewhere around here will be the link for that. Um, we can not just move one fret back on the arm because if we do that, our we can move our three fingers, but we play five strings, but the other two strings that don't have a position in the regular A chord, then we cannot move those further back because the bridge is right here. So what we will do with these flat versions of the chords is just start off by the second way to play the chord, which is, in this case, for the A chord right here, with my index finger over all the strings on the fifth fret. You can also find that in the tutorial on how to play the A chord. Now we just move one fret back and we get the A flat chord. Now, if that reminds you of something, you are not wrong, because this is actually the same as our G sharp chord. Remember last week we did the G sharp chord and if we go from the G chord to the G sharp chord, we move up one fret and we get the G sharp and that's half a tone lower than the A chord. So that's also the A flat chord. So basically the G sharp and the A flat chord are the same chord, practically. Because why would they use different names for the same position, for the same chord in position? Um, and that's actually more theoretically, uh, because if a certain song, for example, is written in a certain key, uh, then they can use certain notes or certain tones and others not. And that's basically why, for example, in one key, uh, the G sharp could be used but not the name A flat, whilst it's actually the same chord to play, you know? So if you want to know the second way to play the A flat chord, then we can just take the second way to play the G sharp chord because it's the same to play it, right? So then we move right here with our index finger over the five lower strings on the 11th fret, like this, like last week's chord, and then we get the A flat chord. Which is pretty hard to play clean already. So you're, pro you're probably not gonna need it that much, certainly not as a beginner, uh, but it's better to know than not to know, all right? So that's basically it for the A flat chord. Next week we are going to do the B flat chord, and over the next couple of weeks, you're gonna notice a similar pattern for all these chords. So stay tuned for those. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye.